Padres hosting the Cubs, and right now the Padres are minus 115. On the money line, the Cubs are minus 105. The over-under, 8.5 runs. The Cubs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 200, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 165, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Head to head, the road team is seven and three. The Padres are six and four. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five. There's only been one one run game, so generally when the favorite has been winning, they've won by two. The only game that was a one run game was a game that the underdog won. The under is hitting their last six games. The under is seven and three, and the under eight and a half runs is six and four. The wind is essentially blowing from foul pole to foul pole at 10.3 miles per hour, so that's how it is across the outfield. Now, Strawman did not pitch against the Padres either last year or this year. The Cubs are four and six as a team with him on the mound. I don't know how his record is showing five and four. That's one of those mysteries. They could have thrown him in as a reliever in one of these games. They've won his last three starts. He's averaging six innings pitched and 4.8 strikeouts per game in those games. So let me preface that they're four and six in his last 10 games. The uh, Padres are three and three in the games in which weather started because they used him a bunch in relief as well. He's averaging four innings pitched and 2.8 strikeouts per game. That's in the games with relief. He rounds out to a nice three strikeouts per game in the games that he actually starts. In their last handful of games overall, the Padres won the last game yesterday 6-0. The game before that, the Cubs won 2-1. The game before that, the Cubs won 5-2. The game before that, the Padres won 5-3. And the game before that, the Cubs won 6-0. So seemingly, they've been alternating wins. The Cubs were the only ones to win back-to-back games. Now, in their last handful of games overall, the Cubs are 2-2 in their last 4 and 4-6 and in their last 10. Three runs, seven runs, three runs, and six runs. Two runs and a win, three runs and a loss, two runs and a win, shutout in a loss. For the Padres, they are two and two in their last four and five and five in their last ten. Three runs, eleven runs, three runs, six runs. One run and a loss, ten runs and a win, one run and a loss, six runs and a win. I'm going to take the Cubs with the money line. I'm going to take the Cubs getting the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.